Hello, hello to another reading on Monday the 12th. This is the week reading for this coming week from today to next Sunday. And let's see what kind of story will be the underlining kind of theme of this week. What are we moving through? What are the learning skills or things that uh, need to come up? Um, I'm going to pick one card of this tarot deck, a tarot of the divine. All the decks that I am using are, li using are listed down below. You can look them up. So let me see what there is. What story is the theme of this week? It's like this kind of underlining um, energy that we are moving through. What story this one is looking at me. So. <laughs> and I have a new friend. This is Magnus. Um, yeah, I'm just leaving him and exp he is exploring and doing. We got him uh, a few days ago. I'm so excited. I have a cat in this room. The star. Ooh, I think if I'm not mistaken, I grew up with this story. I hope it's that one. I think so. I will go on, I'm have to read about this. I have a wonderful book. I will be back and then I will be reading the story to you. Beautiful card, beautiful image. Um, sorrow, fate like something happening um, her long hair going into the water so let's read this is a Russian a Russian fairy tale so it's not the one that I thought uh, I grew up with there's another story about this girl with stars and the stars come down like coins and she gets rich there's another story but this, this is a Russian, and I think the other one is German. Not sure. I have to look it up. My curiosity is definitely sparked. I remembered that story now. Anyways, let's read the story. There once was an orphaned girl named Alyonashka, who lived with her young brother, Ivonashka. Ivonashka was still too young to work, so he would follow his sister to her job on the other side of the forest. The journey was long and hot for the young boy. So when he saw a cow's hoof print filled with water, he asked his sister if he could drink from it. She told him to wait until they could drink from the well. He asked again when he saw another hoof print, this time a horse's filled with water and again she told him to wait for the well by this time he was so hot and thirsty that when he saw a goat hoof print filled with water he didn't ask he just drank immediately he was transformed into a little white goat for the water had been a witch's trick Alyonashka realized what has happened to her brother, began to cry. She vowed to take care of him forever. Just then a merchant came riding by and saw the lovely Alyonashka on the side of the road with a baby goat by her side. He asked her why she was crying and when she told him her story, he instantly fell in love with her purity and proposed to her right then and there. Alyonashka agreed and they were soon wed and the three lived happily for some time. However, one day a witch kidnapped the goat brother and used him to lure Alyonashka to the river. The witch seized the girl and tied her up and waited her with stones before throwing her into the water. Ivanoska managed to escape the witch. He ran home and found that the witch had transformed herself 
to look like Alyonoska, Alyonoska's husband, who had been away during this adventure, did not notice any difference in his wife. The disguised witch tried to convince the merchant to eat the goat. But Ivanoska instead led him to the river to discover and save the real Alyonoska. Knowing they had been deceived by the witch, Alyonoska and her husband killed her, breaking the curse on Ivanoska, who, to their delight, he became a human boy once again. Very beautiful story, another one, um, I don't know about, it's from Russia, and the star card is that there is always hope, it's, it reminds us to wish upon a star, um, with all this deceiving kind of light that happens in darkness anyways, like the stars come to light when hope is no more, when stuff happened, um, that the stars are there to guide, of course, to, they, they provide guidance. So to not lose sight of direction and to not lose hope that there is um, still a solution to problems and to get through it too, to really have that um, hope that you can get through it and also follow your intuition um, if stuff happens and sometimes that comes through too with the story we cannot uh, make things turn back on our own like we cannot reverse things that happen to us but we can make the best of it and then maybe eventually it will get back better or it will resolve itself again. So this week, um, this is the governing, the underlining theme that there might be some dark days, some, some darkness maybe, but not lose this little glimmer of hope um, that there are maybe situations that happens this week where uh, you feel better and it doesn't have to be something big it can be a smile from somebody um, it can be a joke it can be uh, something you see or some something you hear um, just this glimmer of hopes to not lose um, yourself with all the negativity maybe that uh, swirls around us that we cannot see anymore. Ooh, these cards want to come. Let me see. What else is there? What else is there? What else is there? And this is a separate thing. I haven't asked there, but it wanted to come out. What else is this week? Um, that wants to be heard that we move through. What else is happening this week? What else is there? This one. Okay. So I'm going to put that here and these over here. Mm, again, we have, hmm, very interesting. So at the, right away, of course, I saw the same pattern here with the water. Um, the water um, is emotion, feelings, intuition, the flow of life that we sometimes cannot um, and that comes through anyways lately a lot and I think this week is really felt that we cannot sometimes control what is happening but we can control how we view or feel about it um, if we pull ourselves down into the depth of water or we just go along with it 
right Magnus <laughs> along with it then he came <laughs> but the four of wands is the stability it's celebration it's 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 something that is meant to be that is meant to be created um, to be stable it's celebration I think I said it already so some that is really lighting yourself up like the star uh, for some of you I could see that this uh, is a day or uh, maybe you go to a party or maybe there is something you are excited about that's coming up this uh, this week that really takes the heaviness away from things that maybe wants to pull you under the things that the depth of the waters where you are not on you are not sure um, you have to flow into these waters anyways but there is something a star some event that is coming up this week uh, that you feel really excited about and it's lifting up your spirit yes it gives you hope because this is a lot of hope in this in this story too mm, the lovers beautiful so I feel like with this card there is also this universal intervention intervention and guidance too again these two see these two people maybe it's a date for some of you i see a date that you're excited about that you meet up with somebody doesn't have to be a, a, a lover or something it can be also a friend something that you're feeling really really the love of a connection it can also be a family member or something that you uh, feel good about this week, something that comes up uh, a meeting, definitely with other with another person. Um, I feel that really strongly, and it's meant to be. Yeah, it's totally meant to be, and it will help you out. Maybe I will see, also. I see a a conversation kind of here too, an understanding. Let me see what else is there with these cards. Like I said, all the decks I'm using uh, are listed down be below in the description box. Mm. Yeah. I also see that a meeting, whatever this is, uh, get something in a flow um, get something on the move and when I think about the story um, this happened and she was sorrowful she was in 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 this very vulnerable state and then that merchant came and just because of that situation he stopped and asked and he fell in love with her and he married her so whatever this is, this this depth that you have to move through, a good a good part is coming with it, and a connection with somebody else, maybe a conversation with this person about a situation that you feel very heavy about, and a solution comes. Okay, that wants to come. Death, the death card. Wow. This is transformational. Ooh, these cards jump. Okay, let me first um, first talk about the death card. The death card is transformation, and we have transformation literally in this in this story. Uh, it sometimes these things it really comes through. You cannot. Say no to what's gonna happen or what you have to move through something has to get done you cannot shy away what uh, like death reminds us of rebirthing birthing so you cannot shy away from a birth you cannot run away from giving birth the child comes anyway so there is a certain a certain heaviness a certain pain to something it's a letting go but a renewal in in the same time we have the phoenix in this 
the phoenix rising out of the ashes with this fiery wings beautiful actually has this i hope you can see that with that woman totally transformation yeah wow that's a beautiful card so definitely a renewal um meant to be situation through something heavy but it turns out to be a blessing in disguise i think that's also this this kind of energy from the the star uh story so let me see what we got here the king of cups mm, another king of cups so we have we have a double the king of cups really it points to this is gonna be with a, a person it can be actually a male a man somebody that is very guided something someone that um, has this open heart to listen that listens that you can talk to and they are totally aware see you and and um feel you whatever you you yeah they they give you total attention to what's happening what you're moving through um yeah so the cups are representing the element of water which connects us with intuition feelings emotions um flow of life and the king of cups is also the king energy is fire energy so what happens fire and water it sizzles it steams it becomes anew it transforms again that comes up so something, a connection with somebody else brings you solutions and with that you can rise up. This is a very strong, it's double, we have him double. So definitely a conversation. The nine of swords, mm, yeah, sorrows, um, worry, there's something that worries you um that you cannot look away from um anymore something becomes really heavy or feels heavy and there is the need to uh like it weights you down these thoughts and there is a need for speech a need to get it out yeah Wow, but definitely something, something positive this week. It doesn't have to be a meetup with that certain person. If something's coming along this week, just pay attention to these, these um, happy moments, you know. And there might be a person then that you can talk to that might have the, the same experience. Um, he has had experiences, so he has the wisdom. He has total wisdom, but he is not too fiery. He can cool himself down, you know. He is like, he has a good balance between water and fire, cold and hot. So he has this patience too. So totally gets your story because probably has had this, this same situation as well. Um, what also comes through in this, uh, in these cards is shape shifting if that means something to you let me see what else i can um pick let's let's take these cards here yeah the shape shifting comes to mind um, we have a human transforming into a baby goat we have here uh, the phoenix as a woman like the woman as a phoenix mm. 
We have fish in these cards too. Especially, of course, here. Let's see what else. Yeah, I get that feeling of fishman here, that mer, uh, mermail being able to be underwater. Yeah, shape shifting comes comes in this line up here. Okay, this one. What else is there? What else is this week? It needs to be uh, viewed. Information. This one. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Divergence. Yeah, shape shifting again. Uh, divergence. Um, the perception of things. How do you view things? Are you, um, is something really taking away your concentration or taking, you know, in this, in this story, the witch really fooled this merchant man in thinking she is who she claims to be looks the same, maybe acts the same, whatever, but it's not the real um, wife. So with this card, it's really, um, there's some, maybe this week, you have an aha moment. I was like, you know what? I paid too much attention to this. Or I got fooled. Or I, I perceived something that is not even real. Maybe this conversation with a person gets you an aha moment and it's telling you, you know, it's not even that bad. Or maybe it's, it's something that you have missed. The secret. A secret. Again, like a creature. Look at this creature underwater again it's something that you're not in the depth of things the waters swirled up you're not quite getting what's actually happening a secret that somebody is is holding on to passion i feel like there needs to be a, a fourth Heart, passion. Oops, this one. Winter. Hmm. Yeah. Feels really cold. Maybe. Um. Winter's also darkness. It feels off. It feels hidden. Somebody is hiding something. And you feel very passionate about figuring this out. Yes, the key. The key to figuring things out. And the key came out. <laughs> nice how it lines up with the words I speak. So, figuring that out. Something you want to figure out finally. Sometimes we have these moments where it's like, I don't get this. Why don't I get to this? You know, I'm, I'm missing something here. I may maybe pay attention to the wrong thing. Especially if we move through something this week that feels heavy and we cannot shy away from things. What am I missing? Why does it feel this way? You know? Another person can maybe have a secret that weights things down. Maybe that conversation will lift things up. Bring some more cards in. Um, let's see. I feel like because of this shape-shifting thing, I feel like the animals want to talk. 
Mm. Yeah. Let's we'll get the animals in. Let's see what animals, animal wisdom wants to come in. Yeah. Something is definitely gnawing on you. Um, maybe somebody acted a certain way that you cannot f figure out what happened. Um, or you are really missing something. You don't, you don't pay attention. And then all of a sudden, <gasps> I believed this situation. Kind of that, you know. So what animals can give more insight? What else is happening this week? What else is happening this week? Mm. What else is happening this week? What else are we moving through? Mm. I feel these two actually. There you go. Three cards. <laughs> Four of feathers, mm. sanctuary and rest, the bear, that is beautiful. Mm. And now I just hear my cat purr, maybe it comes up in the video, he is so loud that it's so comfortable, yeah, rest, rest comes up, so definitely some rest time I see in this week, even though maybe there's a lot of passion, fire, and maybe some really heavy thoughts or heavy situations, but I do feel like there is rest in this week, you get moments of rest, the world card, ooh, fulfillment, celebration, again, there's something to be celebrated this week, totally, um, I see that for a lot of you, that there's something to celebrate, maybe a birthday, maybe a wedding, um, summer solstice is coming up too soon, um, yeah, and I think a new moon, so you can set, set um, uh, intentions, uh, new moon energy. Um, again, we have this depth of water that connects all the things. The celebration of... All right, I'm back. I got interrupted. Sorry about this. But yeah, celebration, totally celebration. Um, when I think about this coming week, of course, we have Father's Day, which totally comes up um, with this man uh, on the throne. Um, yeah, the Father's Day might be coming up and that's the celebration. That is where you can get rest. That's where you might see your purpose. Um, what are you doing here, you know, kind of the, these questions, that divergence, um, not seeing why you're doing what you're doing, or you are somebody that provides your father with a gift or conversation or a thank you to really give that moment of, you know what, um, this gives me hope, you know, this gives me so much love. Let me see what else is there. A temperance, balance and harmony. Yeah, totally gives um, balance and harmony, of course, when you have things that give you the hope that you are not alone, uh, that you can get through it, whatever weights you down. Um, Family comes through also um, with this, especially uh, the family is together again as a whole. He trans transforms back into the human. Maybe there's some um, uh, a miscommunication gets mended 
and then you feel good again. Um, something that you perceived a wrong way, maybe that gets resolved. Something definitely gets opened up, the key res resolved, a new viewpoint on things. Yeah, let me take a uh, different card that um, is going to be the last one. Um, see what else is there. Um, for this week, my inspiration, another um, information, inspiration, guidance for this week. This, another guidance, and this one. There you go. Let's put this back in this box. Hmm. Yeah, Father's Day totally is something that a lot of people are celebrating. Maybe as something else that gives you this kind of good feel this week. Soul retrieval. Yeah, this is again this this coming back to your old self. Something that you have lost. Um, it's, it's still there, but something that you have lost, you recognize again and you get it back and you feel whole again. Yeah, definitely something that is mending things. Vision quest. Yeah, your vision, your purpose. So there's something this week that fulfills you. Many paths. It opens up new doors, especially with the keys. When you think you, be, you come to a um, dead end, think again. Maybe it's one of those misleading kind of things. I, I think about the, the uh, movie, The Labyrinth where she goes just straight and she says this is a labyrinth there are no turns no doorways it just goes straight and then she has a meltdown she sits down and then there is this worm who introduces himself and tells her it's come in come in meet the missus have some cup of tea and they have a conversation and she's like, there are no turns. There's no other pathways, nothing. And the worm says, um, they are everywhere. You just have to know how to look for them. And there, right in front of her, very um, disguised within the plants and how the, the uh, stone is, is, is done, she perceives it as just one, one flat surface, but there is like one is a little bit more back. So when you look at it from the straight, it looks like one continuous wall, but it's a little bit of a hallway there. And then she walks through and sees, oh, there is another pathway. So never think that there is just one um, solution. There is just one viewpoint that um, your day-to-day -day life is maybe monotone and there's nothing else. I see for a lot of people in the collective that um, there is some shifting going on. You feel yourself again, uh, complete. There is the sense of completion and that you are able to go many paths that you can shift a little bit over and have a new, uh, new viewpoint. And it points all into like a family, community, friends. Something this week, maybe it is Father's Day, where you have a wonderful day. Maybe you, you are a father yourself, um, having a superb time with your children that it is like this confirmation that you are loved and you are providing for your family 
or you are the child and you have a wonderful time with your parent, with your father, or you guys have something planned this week, another, another thing, maybe there's a birthday, a wedding, uh, something that you celebrate together, something that you look forward to uh, today, definitely already planned, definitely already seen, um, that's coming, that gets you away from the monotone, you feel yourself again, you can talk, you can be yourself, and that will open up a little bit of um, a doorway to more freedom, to more harmony, to more balance, more restful sleep, because when I think about if you have worries on your mind, you're not able to sleep well. So definitely something that lifts some stones from your heart and then you can sleep and rest. Uh, that I see too. A lot of good rest this week too, maybe. Um, yeah, at the end of the week, to see how things unfold. This is a overall collective reading. Not all of it can come, uh, come your way. Not everything has to be lined up with your life. You just see what, um, what shows up. And there is no use to mend your day-to-day -day life. To make this uh, so there is no need for that that's time waste so if it um, resonates to you um, yeah just see what resonates to you that's that's always the thing about these readings and yeah have a wonderful week a wonderful celebration whatever that is a wonderful flow and whatever you are moving through um, right now that you cannot turn back on, may it flow easily. May you feel the support that comes in. May you be held and supported whatever form you have um, taken on. A transformation that you're going through that you need support with stuff like that might be also the case um, you are moving and shifting into a new skin and a new reality uh, a new job a new um, maybe moving uh, profession uh, life view um, all of these things can also represent this shape shifting and I do see support. I do see help um, for you. So whatever it is, I wish you a wonderful week. Glorious week. Just like her. <sighs> Until next time. Bye.